Hey, all Kyle here, AA0Z. I'm going to start a new series on my channel all about N1MM. This first video is about installing and getting N1MM configured so you can get on the air and uh, log your first contest. So first thing we're going to do is going to go to N1MM and uh, that you can either Google this or you can go to N1MMWP.hamdocs.com. And that will take you to the website. Come here to Downloads, Program Files, and Full Install. This will take you to the Full Install page. You can click here for the Full Install. Then you're going to click here with uh, another uh, link to the July 10th, 2022. This might be updated based on when you uh, view this. But what they do is they compile a full program, and then whenever you open the program for the first time, it will ask you if you want to update it, and we're going to say yes. But click on the full installer, and then you're going to click on the download button here, and it's going to download the uh, EXE to your uh, computer, execute that, install it through the defaults. I would uh, not change anything, just let it run, and uh, after that is done, we're going to get into the configuration. After it's fully installed, it's going to put this icon somewhere on your desktop. We want to double click on that and it's going to load. So it's probably going to pop up a few windows and it's going to ask you um, some questions about your station. We're going to get into that. But the first thing that you want to do before it does anything is you want to come to, if it does not prompt you to update, you want to go to tools and you want to go to check for new program version and install. And it's going to say a new version is available. Would you like to install it now? And I'm going to say yes. And it is going to run through its install again, install the updates, and then restart the program. And uh, we'll wait for that to complete. So it is installing here and it is complete. So we're going to run N1MM over here on my other screen and it's going to give you the update notes of everything that it updated. N1MM gets updated about once a week. Um, so don't be surprised that every time you open up N1MM, you've got a new update. They, uh, they update this quite a bit. So first thing we're going to do is it's probably going to ask you to update your station information. If it doesn't, this is the first thing that you need to do in N1MM. You need to come here to configure and change your station data. So it's going to bring up this window that has your call, your name, your address, your city, your state, um, your grid square, CQ zone, ITU zone, your call sign, your grid square, your CQ zone, your ITU zone, and your ARRL section are probably things that you need to fill out um, to make N1MM functional. Those are the things that I would fill out uh, first. So therefore, you can get on the air. Going to click OK. And if it asks you for anything else, go ahead and fill that out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come in here to configure ports. Mode, control, win key. So that's under the config tab. And that's going to pop a screen up. And this is where you configure cat control for your radios. There is a section in N1MM in the help docs down below. I'll put a link of all of the um, radios. Let's see if we can find it real fast. N1MM radio config. The configurer. Yep, so I will put this link in the description. It's got the hardware tab, which we are on the hardware tab, and uh, you can choose a COM port, your radio, and then you can set up uh, the different details of how your radio communicates to N1MM. And through this will tell you everything that you need to configure. Your radio is specific to you, but don't reinvent the wheel. Somebody has already done this for you, and I believe that if I keep scrolling down here, um, maybe not, maybe not in this 
No, not in here, but um, let's see. I'll put a link in the description. N1MM, let's do N1MM, let's say Ken, Ken Wood. Radio config. Supported radios, here we go. This is exactly what we need. I'll put this link in the description below. Here are all the supported radios that N1MM obviously supports, but then also how to configure it. So let's let's go down to a uh, Kenwood. Um, let's do a TS-890. So it's going to bring you down to that radio, and it's going to basically tell you how to configure. Here's the TS-990 on how to configure the, the ports for N1MM. So you might want to take a look at that. All of these other tabs, you can leave the default. This is just to get you up and going, get your radio communicating to N1MM, and get you on the air. Um, you want to make sure that uh, if you've just got one radio, you've got this SO1V radio button clicked. So if I boot up my radio here, so here is my, my radio here, and I need to start cat control. So the flex has slice A on COM4. If I double click on this, it's going to show me that uh, it is a serial. It's on COM4, slice A, and uh, this is just um, flex information. So if I come over here to configure ports, mode, mode control, I'm going to see COM4, my flex 66 or uh, 6700, and this is the um, details of my COM port on how I talk to the radio. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK here. And I'm going to go to 14200. And I am connected. All right, once you've got your radio connected to N1MM, the next thing you want to do is set up a contest. So there's a couple of different ways that you can set up a contest, and I'm going to show you the way that I do it, but uh, you can do it any other way. So if you go to file up here, I N1MM uses a database to store all of the contacts that you have that you you um, contact in a in a contest. What I do is I make a separate database for every single contest. Now you could uh, make a database that has the contest name and year after year, let's say you work the ARRL 10 meter contest year after year after year. So you can make a file called, or a database called uh, ARRL 10 meter. And every time that you work that contest, you start a new contest in that database. What I do is I make a new database for every single contest, and I put the year in it. So therefore, I have the different years that I can load up and, and take a look at. Um, other people, they put all of their contests in one year into one database. So you can have many different contests in a database, or you can have uh, a contest per database. It all depends on how you want to set it up. So I set it up that it is a one-to-one -one ratio. A database has one contest in it, and that's it. So if I wanted to work, uh, let's say, NAQP, I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to say New Database, and it's going to bring me to the default, which is in N1MM Logger Plus under My Documents, under Databases, and I'm going to make a new database, and I'm going to call it NAQP SSB um, January 2023, and then I'm just going to say test after the, after the end of the database. So I'm going to hit save, 
and that's going to create a new database, right? There's no contest in this database. So now I need to set up a contest in that database. So now I need to go to new log and you can see that my database is selected here. I'm gonna to go to new log and here a new dialog box pops up. This is where I select the contest that I want to participate in. So I'm gonna come down here, all of the contact, all the contests that are supported by N1MM and there's user defined contests and we'll get into that into a later video. But I want to come down here and I want to find NAQP. And I believe, yeah, NAQP SSB, North American QSO Parties SSB. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to make sure that my start date looks good, which is today. But you want to uh, make sure that this is the current date. And you want to come down here and select all of your, your category information. So I'm single op, I'm uh, all band, I'm gonna, uh, my power is low. So this is where you need to read the rules to see what you need to select in uh, the category uh, drop downs here. Mode, single sideband, overlay, I'm a fixed station, I'm gonna be assisted which means that I'm going to be using spotting the, net, uh, the spotting network. I've got one transmitter, my sent exchange. So this is important if you're running CW. So my exchange is Kyle in Missouri. So I'm gonna put that, my operator. So I'm gonna click okay, everything looks good here. I'm gonna click okay. And per what, per what the, the contest, the exchange is per the contest, your entry window will populate with the right fields. So here, the first field, let's take a look at this. This first field is the call sign. So I'm gonna um, alpha, alpha, zero, uh, alpha, and uh, Rick, and he's in Colorado. So whenever I tab over, <clears throat> I'm going to, or I can tab over or I can hit the space bar. You can see how that scrolls over. Whenever I'm ready to log the contact, I hit enter. Here is my log entry window. Now, if this does not pop up, you can come up here to window and you can come down to entry or um, log. And that will display your log of all your contacts that you have, have made. After you're done with the contest, you got to submit a Cabrillo file. How do we do that? So if you come up here to file and generate Cabrillo file, you're going to select that. It's going to ask you, hey, do you want to, you want to uh, change anything? Check your exchange. Does everything look good? You're going to click OK. Check your category. Yep, everything looks OK. And then it's going to open a dialog box and you can see that this is under exported files under documents n1mm logger plus and i'm going to just call this test and i'm going to save it export is complete you can edit your cabrillo file before sending do you want to email it um, or do you want to, to edit i'm okay and then it's going to ask you you want to submit the Cabrillo file, it's a super check partial. You can do that or not, doesn't really matter. We'll get into super check partial in another video. I'm going to say no. And here I'm going to open up my Cabrillo file, documents, <coughs> N1M on logger, export files. And I'm going to go to test. And here is my Cabrillo file. You can see that it's got all of my station information about the contest, my information, my email address, and then this is where my contacts sit. And it's got QSO information, frequency, mode, time, date, my call, 
and then what I received from that station, and then end of log. So this is where you would take this text file and you would either upload it or send it to the contest sponsor. Doesn't matter, usually doesn't matter what you name that file because you're probably uploading it or you're just emailing it. So I would probably put uh, your call sign and maybe the date and the contest as the default and uh, submit it that way. So after the contest is over and you submitted your Cabrillo file, you can exit out of N1MM and it's gonna ask you, do you really wanna exit? Bring it over here, do you really wanna exit? I'm gonna say yes and it's gonna exit. So the next time that you fire up N1MM, it is going to default to that last contest that you opened. So you can see that it defaulted to the NAQP contest that we, we put a contact in. So then if you're going to work another contest, you would come down here to a new database and you would call this, um, uh, let's say Winter Field Day 2023 and save, and it's going to create a new database. And then I'm gonna come over here to new log in Winter Field Day 2023. And I'm going to scroll down, I believe it's probably under, under Winter Field Day, January. And I'm gonna make sure everything looks good. I'm low, 1H Missouri, operator AA0Z, this looks good, gonna hit okay. And now I'm ready for Winter Field Day. So that's how you set up contests. That's how I set up contests in N1MM. If you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe. I'm going to be doing quite a bit of N1MM tips and tricks this year in 2023. So hope to see you in future videos. Thanks, 73.